Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Oblivion. Wow, look at that, you guys. Glorious, I tell you. The dragon of Kathadun, I tell you. I don't know what type of dragon that is. I literally just made that name up. Excuse me, sirs. All right. <laughs> We're gonna go and complete the first part of our actually like our main uh, mission, which is to deliver the amulet to Joffrey. <clears throat> I've arrived in Coral. Now I need to find Joffrey at Wainin Priory. Now we are right here, and we go across this big ass bridge here, and then we walk up this path here. And we'll be at Wayne and Priory. Now, I could, of course, just teleport there, but this is a long play of the friggin' game, goddammit. This isn't a 15 minute I beat Oblivion playthrough. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, yeah, our alteration is at 100. I made some food and basically just sat there while eating my food. I just sat there spamming uh, Protect until we were at 100. And <clears throat> now, what I'm working on. Uh, now is our illusion. And we're using... Starlight. So we're spamming Starlight now. <laughs> wow, look at this fucking game, you guys, eh? Isn't that amazing? Dude. Oblivion's so good, man. So good. Just an incredibly well done game. Oh, it looks like we're actually coming up on a town here. Yep. It's called Way. Oh, this is the guy with the Jewel of the Rumar. We need this, yo. You know, stranger, there comes a time in every man's life when he has to admit that he's lost the fight. Well, I fought and I've lost. <laughs> Who did I lose to? Who is my great enemy? I oh, don't laugh. It's a bunch of damn fish. <laughs> How can I help, man? Go on and... Uh, wait. Help? Oh, well then. I'm a fisherman. Or at least I was. You know, one of those slaughter fish down near took my leg off. I was collecting their scales, see? I had a contract with this young alchemist. You wouldn't believe what he was paying for those scales. Then, last month, one of the bastards got a hold of my leg. Took me right out of the business. But this alchemist, he needs the scales right away. How about those scales? The alchemist was paying so much for the scales that I'm close to having enough saved so that I can retire. But now I can't get out there to the lake. Not with this lake. <clears throat> I only needed 12 more scales. Can you believe it? I was so close. I've picked up a few things in my travel. If you head out there and bring me back the 12 scales that I need, I can make it worth your time. Help an old fisherman out, won't you? Now we can really only do half of this quest I don't know what right I'll do now. if you don't get those scales for me. I've saved so much for my retirement, but it's just not enough. I remember doing this uh, quest. So, here, let's just ask Ooh, him. Oh, he's that wanted criminal. Yep, blah, blah, blah. Have you heard about Clutch? They say that Daedra came... Yeah, I whooped the asses, man. Uh, where are your savings? Hilarious. You see, um, you... Yeah, I did this quest, like, in the actual game itself, in my playthrough, right? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think you can only find six of them, and then you have to come back a day later. Oops. So let's hunt some of them now. He gives you a fucking awesome accessory, though, that allows you to breathe underwater. Like, permanently breathe underwater. You can literally friggin' live underwater with that accessory equipped. So it's kind, <laughs> it's kind of important. Um, we need water breathing. There you are. 
Oh, well, you know what? I could actually do water breathing at the bottom and keep our uh, starlight for spamming. All right, so water breathing, this, this spell literally does exactly what it says. It allows you to breathe underwater. These Rue Marfish are kind of annoying little fuckers. They're actually pretty strong. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Let's go find some. There's one. Gonna catch it. Oh yeah. Bring it on, bring it on, sir. Need water breathing. Jesus. So I mean, all these things are actually pretty tough. So we got one there. <laughs> oh shit, why not? <laughs> you know? Jump, motherfucker, jump! Oh, I hear you. I hear you, Nern Root. Where are you? I'm gonna find you. <laughs> you sound like you're all around me. There you are. Nice. Restoration up. Hmm. <clears throat> Find us another fishy. Yeah, the game only spawns six fish at a time. Oh, there he is. So you can only kill... <clears throat> you need twelve. I mean, we could always kill six and then wait, uh, <coughs> wait 24 hours, and then there, there would be six more, breathe, please. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, you don't, sir. <laughs> I've played this game, sir. <laughs> Tricky little demons. They're so strong, though. Music is playing for like no reason. Yeah, these damn fish are strong, man. Oh, I hear you. Oh, I see you. Come here, little fella. Ah, I need to power up my destruction skill. Yeah, like I was saying in a previous episode, anytime you find like a really easy enemy, like a rat or a crab or something like that, you really do want to hit it with your destruction skill because destruction is actually like the hardest magic to max out. Because you actually have to hit a target with it in order to level it up. <laughs> Which makes it a little difficult. It gets easier later on though because you can just summon, uh, you can create your own spell to summon a skeleton for two battle music for two full minutes um, and then repeatedly hit your own skeleton with uh, weakness to magic over and over and over again because it won't kill him but it'll still count towards um, actually raising your destruction skill so far so far playing the game that is the fastest way I have found um, of how to raise your destruction skills so if anybody knows a faster way, please let me know. <laughs> that's the fastest way I have found. Curse Splash. Let's go get us another slouter fish. I think we have two. 
<laughs> it's like no wonder the guy got injured hunting these damn fish. They're freaking crazy. Let me get you, sir. Where are you? There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Water breathing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you better. You, you better know your role, sir. Ah, uh, uh, quadruple slash. Ah, uh, you don't even know. Uh, he doesn't know nothing about the quadruple slash, you guys. God damn. There, look at the light emanating around us. <clears throat> so this is that helmet that we bought, you guys. For anybody who's never played this game before, this is the helmet that we bought. Light 60 foot on self, which means that it gives us basically a dome of light that is 60 feet wide all around our character. So you can see that effect happening. And here, I'll show you the difference between having it on and off. Kind of change weapons while attacking. All right, well, look at the way that it looks right now. Boom. Darkness. Put the helmet back on. Boom. Light up the night, son. <laughs> That's why that was the first uh, piece of equipment that we saved up for, man. That helmet is so important in this game. Makes it so that... Oh, and I have our shield now as well. I picked up our shield from home. So. Uh, how do I, um... Zoom... Uh, how do I zoom in again? Uh, hold on. Pardon me. Ah, there it is. Yeah. That's what we're looking like right now. <laughs> So it's cool that we have our shield now and stuff, so we can actually le legitimately block, right? Is that a living one or a dead one? It's a rock. Here, yeah, fishy, fishy. Where are you, fishy? Oh, I see you, fishy. Ah, oh, I see you, fishy. He's beached! Free kill, baby! Better get back here. Alright, we got three. Uh, yeah, just keep it on water breathing. Athletics up. Oh, there he is. Come here, sir. Oh, yeah, he's good. Oh, this one is good. <laughs> uh, but he's not good enough. Oh, you don't know me, sir. I'll swing to the left, then I'll swing to the right. Curse splash. Oh. <laughs> it's a little bit of a task fishing, eh, you guys? Only because these are a special type of fish. Like, if I go to the map here, this is the Lake Rumar. Right? You can see. Lake Rumar. It's the only place in the game... Oh, where you can find the uh, Rumar fish, which is the ones that we're hunting. There are other slaughter fish species, but this is the Rumar version, which is pretty tough. And you guys will see why once we get that accessory. It literally allows you to breathe underwater permanently. Like, actually permanently. Like, as long as you're wearing it. Just waiting for some uh, MP. Alright, let's go. <laughs> huh. Fishy, fishy. Oh, I see you. Oh, that was a good slash right in the mouth. Alright. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, uh, ah, so, so, yeah. So, 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 yeah. Oh, he's getting it all. He's getting it all, you guys. <laughs> I'm fucking nuts, man. <laughs> Alright, that fish actually had something else there. A spoon or something. 
Yep. Damn, my eyes are good. Uh, my eyes are quick sometimes. Coming to get you, fishy. Is that the fishy right there? I think that's the fishy right there. I think I see him right there in the water. Alright, let's go. Oh yeah, he just jumped out of the water a little bit. <laughs> Curse splash! Oh, that was a 10 point dive, I guess. Come here, sir. freaking killed us. Oh, no wonder that old man was having trouble. <laughs> you know? He's right there in front of us, right there. We're just hurting a little bit. Waiting for MP as it always is, you know? Until we level up a little bit more, then it, we won't have to spend any time waiting for MP. Especially once we level up our uh, magic skill levels, and then ma the magic spells become really, really cheap to use. There's a lot of things we need to do right now, to be fair. I have a piece of paper that has like a list of like 30 things that we need to do in this game. <laughs> this is actually one of them, to get the uh, uh, the Jewel of the Rimar. Which is what you get when you complete this quest. Alright, Fishy. Just wait until we have enough to use one more healing spell just in case things go south. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Shot that was. Come on. Brutal. Uh -huh, nice. That slaughterfish like ate some gold or something. to be a journeyman level uh, armorer to repair um, magical items, um, but if you just go to any shop that does repairs, they can repair your uh, magic shit. It becomes very easy to actually get your armorer skill up once you start like uh, going through... Hello? Once you start going through, uh, like, a lot of different caves and stuff. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, I like my crab roasted. <laughs> Poor little guy. He was just trying to live his life. Oh, I see you, Nernroot. Can't hide from me. Oh, 
I, I love this game's realism sometimes, like, just diving into water, you know? I remember the first time that I dove off a bridge in this game, like, check this out, you guys, let's go dive off the bridge here, just, it's actually so well done. Like, it'll actually, if you've never seen this before, or you've never done this in Oblivion, this is actually gonna blow your mind. It's, it's so well done. The increase of speed and stuff like that. Huh! Mm, oh, that was an expert level jump. I'll find a good spot huh, to jump into. That doesn't look very good. <laughs> Yeah, the second side over here is deeper, I think. It, the water actually does have to be deep. Because if it's not, you'll hit the bottom. <laughs> I learned that one the hard way. <laughs> Alright, what do you say, guys? Look, we're about, uh... Oh, maybe 30 feet up. Ready? We're gonna dive in. Oh, wait, let's get up. Watch how real this actually is, you guys. The first time I did this, it made my stomach, uh, like, go all blue. -blue. <laughs> you ready? Uh, <laughs> That's so good. If it was day daytime, you'd be able to see a little better, obviously. And we're walking on water right now, son. Oh, yeah, you want some? You don't even know. Oh, you're about to find out, though. Because you don't even know. It's my duty to teach you. Oh, it's my duty to teach you, fishy. Oh, hell yes. I'm level up. If I remember correctly, there's a hotel right across the street from this guy's house. Yes, sir. The Wanit Inn, you guys. We just gotta level up, so we're gonna stay a night at the inn, catch our level up, make it easier to hunt these Rumars, man. You need. Oh yeah, this guy has 2,000, so in all shut the hell up, sir. So you'll notice his name there, Rowley Eared Wolf. And then next to his name, it'll, it says 2,000. Well, that's actually the current amount of money that he, like, technically, I guess, quote-unquote, has on him, right? Uh, rather, it is actually the maximum amount of money that he can give you for any item you bring him, okay? So, out of, like, all the shops in this game, this is usually where I bring all my stuff in my main playthrough. Let's what get you training. What do you mean training? I'm the, always in the shadow of I'm the city. sneakiest of sneakies, sir. You have no idea. Hello? Yes? Uh-huh. Wake up. <laughs> uh, kind of need a Listen, hotel room. Where are you going? Welcome to the Wanted Inn. Could I interest you in a room or perhaps a bit of wine? Oh, mm, shit. How about a bit of wine? First, and then we'll go to the bedroom. Mm. There's a fresh bed available to anyone who's got the ten gold. Would you like it? Hell yeah. So be it. Head upstairs and look for the last door on your right. Last door on the right? What's about this wine? Yes, actually I'm quite fond of collecting all manners of wines from all over Tamriel. Okay. But one vintage continues to elude me. Shadow Banish wine. How I'd love to add it to my collection. Right. Say, that gives me an idea. You look like the adventuring type. If you can retrieve six bottles of Shadow Banish wine, I'll gladly pay you well. All I know about them is that they're found in the many fort ruins scattered all over Cyrodiil. All right. Well, apparently the wine is so rare because it was only made in one tiny batch. It's the product of an alchemist who was also a vintner. Besides tasting incredible, the magic within the wine allows the imbiber to be gifted with Night Eye, 
The vintner made it special for the Legion soldiers posted at the forts when they were active long ago. It was perfect for keeping lookouts warm on cold nights and helping them see better in the dark. Clever, eh? <laughs> Pretty cool. Keep looking for that wine. Farewell. All right, I'll keep on looking. Strength, intelligence, willpower. Keep her going. How are we looking right now, you guys? Mm, 166. Nice. We hit 100 magicka now, you guys. 256 fortified fatigue. The reason why it's in green is because it's being fortified. It's being fortified by our... Five fatigue pants. <laughs> Gotta love it, man. Ugh. What magic classes? Water breeze. Altar. Are, aren't we maxed on altar? We are. Yeah. Well, look at those big ass ruins over there, man. Not make that dive. Uh, hello there, sir. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, shit. Where are you going? Rap, rap. Rap, rap. Oh, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> oh, sir. <laughs> Really 12? Holy crap. I thought that was only like 8 or 9. Maybe some of them gave us 2 skills? Nice. Restoration out. Restoration is another one of the ones that takes a little while. My man. As the I don't know what I'll do if you don't get those scales for me. About those scales. By the nine, you've got the scales. Thank you. Let it never be said that there are no kind souls in this world. You know? I'll give you this ring in trade. I have no use for it anymore. But I imagine that they would be very valuable to someone like you. Oh, you have Thank no you, idea, sir. You've shown me kindness, and I will think of you in the long, comfortable days ahead. Hell yeah, give me my ring of the Rimar. The jewel of the Rimar, you guys. Woo! An excellent accessory. Uh, we don't have any accessories right now, so there we go. Yeah, it gives you water breathing permanently, and it also fortifies your athletics by four. Nice. Now we can literally breathe underwater. Like, check us out. This shit's crazy. Oh, why, why not? Why not jump off the bridge again while it's daylight this time? Now you guys are going to get the full effect of what it looks like to jump off a bridge and land in the water. Going to do a nice, beautiful swan dive, you guys. You ready? One, two, three. Huh. Yeah. Huh. See ya! little water garden going on. You know. You know I'll be collecting this. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, the uh, accessory. Check this out. Uh, 
And I'm literally chilling at the bottom of the lake, you guys. Look up at the top, see my oxygen meter? So that blue meter at the top is how much oxygen I have, like how much air I have left, right? And you can see that it just stays at maximum. Never goes down, always maximum. It's literally, that ring is literally fish gills. Like it literally gives you gills. <laughs> Pretty cool shit, eh? That's the type of stuff that made me fall in love with this game, because I was like, no fucking way, that's crazy, yo. You know? Now, believe it or not, you know the lizard people in this game, uh, they can actually breathe underwater, the lizard people. They don't... So if you made a character for this game that was an Argonian, right, one of the lizard people, uh, you, you'd actually start the game with the ability to breathe underwater already. Kind of a nice little bonus for Argonian people who start the game as an Argonian. Now, we're a Nord. You guys know that. We're a Nord, so that gives us a shit ton of fatigue. It makes us like friggin' Superman, basically, being a Nord. Citizens of Skyrim, they're a tall and fair-haired people, strong and hardy. Nords are famous for their resistance to the cold. They're highly talented warriors. Yeah, and we're also... Where is that? Yeah, see, resist frost, so just being a Nord makes us 50% resistant to ice magic, so we only take half damage from any ice spell in the game, being a Nord. Not to mention, we're strong as fuck being a Nord as well. Like, Nords are insanely strong, and we're nice and big, too, nice big boys. It seems Somerset Isle has become a much more dangerous place. Farewell. I suppose I have a moment. What is it? Oh, I wasn't interested in you, sir. <laughs> the Legion is so gallant, you know? Like, damn. <laughs> when I first started playing this game, I saw one of these guys and I thought he was a bad guy, so I attacked him. It was the worst mistake I have made in this game. <laughs> well, yeah, man, we are at 32 minutes, though, so... Thank you guys so much, man, for coming out, watching this episode of Oh. Bolivian, where we went fishing for the day, you guys. God damn. You have a good one there, sir. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna continue to uh, head on our journey up this uh, long pathway here, discovering locations along the way, which I can already see one just ahead of us here. Oh. Uh, I guess it's the. Uh, Stables or the signs? I have no idea. There was something over here though. When we were over by this bridge, it popped up. Yeah. There's a fort or something over here. <coughs> yep. Pathway leading up to a little fort up there. We'll go check that out in the next episode, you guys. And I'll see you there. Bye bye.